We are back once again on Revan Tuli Coast today for what I think is going to be our last video pre-release. We've got a stream tomorrow, and the day after that, Revan Tuli Coast will be out on all platforms. And just real quick, I noticed this in this outpost. I uh, don't even know where we are up here, sort of in the northwest. I'm just kind of looking at it as the bearskin uh, rug or bearskin on the wall. Maybe a future trophy lodge thing, just something that caught my eye before we head out. But I want to spend some time in the kind of upland country looking for growls, ptarmigan, stuff like that, and generally whatever kind of big game we can find. And then towards the end of the hunt, we'll do a little bit of waterfowl hunting. I do want to make one more video, probably sometime early Tuesday, talking about waterfowl setups and how to kind of achieve the best results with that, at least based on what I've seen. So I'd like to at least show a little bit of that in videos. I think all of our waterfowl hunting primarily has been in streams thus far. Now that is pretty cool. I haven't seen a brown bear up here yet. It is a level seven. Got a mountain hare in the background there. Real quick, before we take our shot, we'll just kind of spot that with the Argoscope. Nothing all that special. And we can go ahead and take that brown bear. Just really cool terrain, I think, to get a brown bear in. We got our diamond somewhere down like south in the map, down in this area, I believe. That might be the first time I've seen a brown bear up here at all. And of course, 308's a little underpowered, so he's gonna run for a while, but maybe he'll just take us towards some of the ptarmigan and grouse that might be up here. I'm not real sure on the fur type. It might be that red-brown. Got a caper Kaylee flying by. Just a level two. I actually got that. So birdshot apparently was slowed down with this update. It is the red-brown fur type, by the way. Cool to see that in the harvest screen once again. But anyway, that's, that's taken a good bit of getting used to trying to get the lead down on animals and specifically using birdshot, you know, with pheasants and quail and of course, past waterfowl. It's something that I think everybody got used to to a degree and it's taken some kind of relearning, I guess, how to use that again. It was a right lung shot there at 40 meters with three pellets hitting it. Not too bad. I think that's something every time that some kind of bird flushes, I'm trying to make those shots and relearn what sort of lead needs to be put on them. We do have some rock ptarmigan out here. I always forget what is what for their scores. And I'm thinking back to the Hunter Classic and maybe assuming some of the scoring will be similar. Some ptarmigan species, the females seem to get as big as the males. So I'm never sure if we should try to get the males first, just get the highest score estimate first. Eventually that is something that I'm sure we will figure out. But as for now, whatever offers a shot usually we go for. Let's not delete zones. This is a pretty good spot, pretty wide open. We were able to see them pretty easily. So I don't want to shoot more than three and have them moving elsewhere. There are definitely plenty of birds though. You can see another one in the distance. So that's a male at 550. Diamond is 79, so none of them were all that close. And I think that's what it comes down to. I haven't had male or female really close enough to make a judgment as to what I think might be the ones that make diamond. 617 at least, that is a gold. I think we have one more laying right over here. If I'm not mistaken, this was the first one. That was a 613 female. I mean, very similar in the scores thus far. Eventually, like I said, we'll figure it out, but it's gonna take some time. I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've seen any female black grouse. We've had a number of males. That one actually has a pretty good estimate. And again, it is only the ptarmigan species that have to be shot out of the air. So we can shoot this with the 22. Gonna require a bit of precision, but should be right about like that. And that'll bring him down. And I did go back to, I don't know if I said this in a video or just on stream, but I did go back to the normal 22 LR ammo. The truncated, as I said last time, I, at the moment, I don't understand the point. The extra penetration doesn't really do anything for you. At least in my opinion, you want to see the bird or the rabbit or whatever you're shooting go down quickly, and the expansion of the hollow point ammo is better for doing that. I guess, maybe, in a situation like this, if you can get a broadside shot, you might be able to have the truncated ammo do a little bit better. If you can hit a lung, naturally they are going to go down immediately, so we'll attempt that, or just completely miss it the second time. Worked out as you'd expect, so maybe that is the purpose. But when a lung shot's not required, I don't know, I'm just more likely to want something that with a flesh hit is going to bring them down really, really quickly. I really, because there's no class one animal that requires a vital hit, 
I really don't see right now, like, why it would matter too much. 112 for that guy, by the way. But at least there are options, and as I said in the last video where we talked about it, I do expect eventually to see a class 1 species that maybe does require a vital hit, and that might be a little bit better in that scenario, but for now we'll go back to the hollow points. And as for our mountain hare, we know that is going to be decent, but not one that had any shot of being a gold. Dark brown, by the way, a really nice fur type for them. So 5 to 6 is their max weight estimate. Any track like that is one we want to go after. That's interesting. 5.00. I believe the Mountain Hare weight estimates are all like 1.00 to 2.00 and so on. Interesting it was the lower weight estimate and not the higher one. I don't know how that uh, determination is made. Ooh, there we go. Finally. I've been tracking this 4 to 5 kg Caper Kaylee for far too long for a bird that I had no idea what level it was, but it looks like that might just pay off. A nice 4 to 5 estimate, got that there with the 22, and I feel like I'm, you know, almost last year. I've seen a half a dozen videos and streams, if not more, in the community with level 3 Caper Kaylee's getting shot, and I've been searching and searching and searching, and finally, one of these 4 to 5 KG estimates pays off. I don't know if this came from a, a respawn, Maybe an initial spawn that I've been missing, but that is pretty cool. I believe they can troll based on the estimates that I've seen. So hopefully this guy's not gonna. Actually, Sun came out just in time to get a better picture. And let's see. First level 3 Caper Kaylee. First diamond at 4.66. So probably not by much. 4.64 is diamond. They are scored by their weight. Not like turkeys where there's a combination of factors. In theory, his trophy rating should be roughly 4.66. They're never exactly their weight, which is kind of odd, but pretty cool. Our first diamond of the day is a Caper Kaylee. Worth the time to head up into your, to the upland area of the map. What a cool looking bird. And, you know, I, I feel like I've talked on and on about the harvest screen, but it just makes for so much better screenshots now with the coloration and how much better it looks. Maybe we can use one of those in a thumbnail or who knows what, but that's pretty cool. That, we shot a bright female Caper Kaylee. We now have a diamond male. I don't know what all the different plumage types are, but one more female, and maybe if we just stumble into one, we'll shoot it just for the heck of it. We can make the Caper Kaylee multi-mount. I think of all the upland bird models, Hazel Grouse might be my favorite, and I've been super determined to try to get a diamond one of them. And I think they might be the only bird we don't have a even max weight estimate one of yet, but the coloration, the different varieties, gray might be my new favorite. They're just really nice looking birds, but diamond is 435. I gotta think you need an estimate of like up to 0.45 kg. And we had one 0.38 to 0.41 earlier, but even that wouldn't be enough. So eventually, hopefully we can find one of them and I assume that will only be achieved by shooting a bunch of males and getting respawns, but at this point, having gotten the Diamond Caper Kaylee, I want to go back up here. We were getting pretty far south, that is a max estimate black grouse by the way, but uh, I was getting ready to go waterfowl hunt more or less, but now I want to get one more female for the multi mount, and best I can figure up here is one of the better areas. There we go, that's not too bad. Not big enough still, hitting it would be nice. But that's easily the best estimate hazel grouse we've seen. Dark plumage type, 398. Almost cracked that 400 barrier. The weight, in theory, is right there to do it. But again, the dark plumage type, this is the one that I liked the most prior to seeing that gray. They all just look really good, but a nice gold there. Still no female caper Kayleys, by the way. A couple of males have been around here. Man, it's not a bird, but... A legendary lynx. We had a monistic gold out here already. Now we have a 27 to 30 estimate level 9. And just sitting there perfect. I think we might be able to make a heart shot there. Need to go right kind of center of the chest. Certainly not a heart, but lungs that will do the trick. We just kind of rearranged our lodge in terms of the lynx. And the idea of making the Caper Kaylee multi-mount 
has me kind of questioning what we're going to do there, because I think that multi-mount goes on a similar platform, and then a level 9 link shows up. It's been insane. The amount of stuff that keeps on showing up here. And still, by the way, no female Caper Kaylees. We saw a bunch on the way down, kept on ignoring them. Obviously looking for a male, looking for a level 3. As I said, I felt like I was about the last to get one. Now we got that and a level 9 Lynx, so good estimate. Definitely got the vital hit in there, even though we didn't get the heart. And a 28.4. That might be our best. Left lung at 155. Where? Oh, the heart's way lower. No wonder we didn't get that, but that's a really good sized Lynx. Pretty much every Diamond Lynx we've ever shot has been pretty small. Not the case for this guy. Raven Tulicoas has just been unreal so far. Not only for the new species, we got the Diamond Caper Kaylee, we got a Diamond Eurasian Teal on Friday's stream, I guess that would have been, but also the old species, Diamond Brown Bear, Diamond Whitetail on Friday's stream, now a Diamond Lynx and a big one at that. It's amazing what we've encountered. So finally, a female Western Caper Kaylee. I don't too much care what Plumage type it ends up being. Just wanted to get one down so we can make that multi mount. It might be something a little bit different. I don't immediately recognize that. It is the ochre plumage type, so I'm unsure how rare or uncommon this might be. I don't know if they can even make a silver. They might be able to, but I don't think I've shot one of these yet, so that'll do really well to make our multi mount. And I think on that note, especially since we spent more time up here than intended, We'll jump down and do some waterfowl hunting. And as per usual, it does not take long to get ducks coming into a setup. So we're at a tufted duck and golden eye setup. Neither of those ducks has a specific color. And I really don't know if this works or not, but what I've done for any duck species that doesn't have their own color is use the Beacon Deluxe duck color from the original duck and cover DLC. It seems to bring them in. Honestly, I have no idea they might just be coming into the decoys, but at least it kind of gives you something to do as you wait for them to circle. So we experimented a bit with the 12 gauge and the red dot sight. Let's have Sir 12 kind of lay down. Not sure how big a difference that makes, but in theory it should help at least a little bit. And as these guys are getting ready to land, we'll go ahead and take what we can get. Now, all the duck species, because they have different characteristics, have different speeds as they fly away. And that can take a little bit of getting used to, I think. Maybe the best thing would be to stay kind of consistent in the species you hunt so that you can be used to the speeds that they take off. When we shot the Diamond Eurasian Teal on stream on Friday, I was not prepared for how fast it was. They are, I think, the smallest duck species in the game at this point, and unsurprisingly, that means they are quite fast. But as for the Tufted Duck and GoldenEye, a little bit slower, still tough to hit when you're not practiced up. But this particular spot is pretty shallow, so it usually requires you to get out and claim them. Got a female there, and a gray female golden eye. Have we got a gray yet? I'm not sure. It is cool that the females can make gold as well, but I don't think that's particularly special, getting a, a female gold, so I'm gonna assume gray is not that rare, and kinda just keep on hunting. And this time, at least, I would like to try to get some of the tufted ducks. We do have some circling around, but keeping track of what's what and, like, where males versus females are when there are so many ducks is really tough. Got GoldenEye coming down to land here. Eventually, if we can spot tufted ducks, now they're coming to land, we'll try to get a couple of them. Now, the mistake I can clearly see is that I did not reload the shotgun. I'm so bad at that. Whether it's goose hunting, duck hunting, I know we got a double there or something, but... Definitely could have had more if we were a little more prepared. There's a 22 hit on a Tufted Duck as well. But we'll jump out and grab those. Kind of see what we got and go from there. We did get two here. A male black plumage type Tufted Duck. I really like that. A really cool model. I think they did well replicating that. And a female Tufted Duck as well. So this time with the shotgun properly loaded, we're going to let the first couple land. Basically because that's going to allow some that are close to take off a little bit delayed. We should be able to get more because of that. That is assuming that we shoot any halfway decent, but got at least three 
I think unfortunately we kind of chose the wrong one, shot a couple of females as they took off, but the numbers were solid on that one. And by the way, I generally don't hunt with a red dot sight. We'll kind of see how things go with that. But the one big advantage, as we are accidentally picking up decoys, is that you never end up having the gun in your way. The sight gives you a clear view towards whatever you are shooting, but as you can see, just about non-stop. And we'll go over again the setups and just kind of how I'm setting up for ducks in Tuesday's video. But as for now, one more over here. It is a brown again, 747 female tough to duck. And I think on that note, we'll go back to the trophy lodge. I just wanted to kind of do a little bit of different waterfowl hunting. Wanted to check out the tough to ducks on video. And uh, yeah, let's go and see our lynx and caper Kaylee. So first the caper Kaylee. I really like it in here with the two different plumage type uh, hens. And I don't know, bright ochre, kind of cool. Maybe eventually we can get some proper rares. I assume these are more like uncommons. Pretty neat not to just have the normal common in there. And then we sort of switch things up in here with the turkey multi mounts. I'm sure we'll talk about that in the lodge tour, which probably will get pushed back because of the release of Revan Tuli Coast. Maybe we'll wait until we try to get a diamond of everything, which I assume is going to take a while. But anyway, there should be one coming in the next month or so, depending on how that goes. And we can look at that kind of stuff then. But as for our diamond links, 27.7 was our last one. So this one is way bigger at 28.4. Just resting out there while looking for a female caper Kaylee worked out really well that we ended up getting the huge diamond links and then the caper Kaylee being a little bit different with the ochre plumage type as well. But man, Revan Tuli Coast has been super kind to us thus far. Hoping to see that continue throughout the full release and beyond. But thus far, I'm having an absolute blast and cool to finally add that diamond caper Kaylee to the lodge. Been waiting to do that from the beginning and. I think it is pretty cool. All the difference in variety, the detail in the feathers, they did a fantastic job as they've done with pretty much every species added to Raven Tuli Coast. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.